good day everyone so welcome to this channel breaking news let me finish cbn was rotting tv tenable anthony iwoma president bola and main tenable on sunday took a swipe at the central bank of nigeria cbn under the ousted governor godwin emefine describing it as a den of malfairness speaking during his national broadcast to mark nigerians settled independence and russia the president vowed to expose and deal with a rot in the apex bank he said i pledge a thorough house cleaning of the den of malfairness the CBN has become that as cleaning is well underway. According to him, a new leadership for for the central bank has been constituted. Also, many special investigators will soon present his findings on past lapses and how to prevent similar reoccurrences. Henceforth, monetary policy shall be for the benefit of all and not the exclusive province of the powerful and wealthy. The president has told Nigerians in the diaspora after booting out a mafia that the former Apex Bank governor provide a rotten financial system that benefited a few individuals. The financial system was worth it. Few people make bags of, of uh, money and then you yourself, you stop sending money home to our poor parents, several widows, but, but that is gone now. It's gone, Tunubu said. Indeed, as the president had Notice in his speech, Mifini monetary policy benefited only a few powerful white people, wealthy people. His controversial multiple exchange rates policy created loopholes that a few individuals look at took advantage of and made huge illicit gains to around tripping tripping why the entire country bore the consequences of the action that took inflation to an all-time high this much was confirmed by la olu akande a media aide to former vice president yemi osibajo he confessed his emphasis Shanigans of colossal damages he perpetrated at the CBN was to utter detriment of the individual well, of the Nigeria people. This is not even about cashless policy, but apparent corruption, especially in the dual exchange rate. Policy will never make sense. What a sigh of relief. The house, the worst of Mifina policies implemented by CBN under Mifina Watch was the contentious Naira redesign policy of Bari administration. Under the policy, the Apex Bar announced the redesign of 200 Naira. 500 naira and 1000 naira not following the request from the federal government but however the child child implementation of the policy led to frustration and indefinable hardship in nigeria resulting in a multiple court cases and eventual reversal <laughs> To date, nobody really knows the actual state of the policy as both of the old and new notes. Can you imagine? Banknotes are in circulation simultaneously 
after wasting billions of naira on the steel bond policy. There are yet several other financial infrastructure involving the CBA running into a trillion of naira during MFNS and famous tenants such as the illegal loan of over 22 trillion of the federal government as Swiss and May. The money was believed to have reportedly contributed by happy infl- inflation in the country. Ironically, the Buhari administration only moved to get the required National Assembly approval for such a loan a few days before it exit from office. Another vexation issue was the stamp duty scandal, which is the civilian decision as untrue. A member of the House of Representatives from Jigawa Gudaji Kansau in a viral video had alleged that the civilian governor tried to cover up the fact about the collection of 89 trillion stamp duty. He also claimed that a committee set up by President Muhammad Buhari to look into the Irish stamp duty funds being retired by the CBN, which he shared was deliberately being denied access to present its preliminary report. Kazal argued Buhari to either allow him to present his report to him or immediately order a thorough investigation of the alleged stamp duty fund. Additionally, Kazal accused MFNA of keeping another $171 billion in the bank private investor account as proceeds of stamp duty. However, Gabba Shehu, the then senior Special Assistant to President Warren from media dismissed the allegation of misappropriation of stamp duty formed by some government agency and described Kazao committee as illegal. He added that the committee has been dissolved and the others of why the office of bank also said allegation that they do not account to stamp duty collection where without basis with the appointment of Fiume 